if you want to support the show in a different way, you can go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. New grid threat. Russia deploys first strike weapon and China ready too. It says, with the United States waking up to the threat posed by the to the electric grid and electronics from cyber warfare, Russia is mastering systems that can already overcome the latest protections to keep the lights on. According to one of those nation-leading experts, it says, the latest intelligence in- indicates that Russia, and they're of course pointing the finger there, has specialized a, quote, super electromagnetic pulse, a super EMP. Uh, weapon and warhead capable of traveling of Mach 20 that could put the U.S. in the dark with little notice. So you're talking about not just a regular EMP on a nuke, you're talking about a EMP on a hypersonic missile. Hence why SpaceX and these all these operations trying to detect hypersonic speeds. It says, Peter Vincent Pry, executive director of the EMP Task Force on the National and Homeland Security, also said China has leapfrogged U.S. developments in electromagnetic pulse warfare. It says that what's more, administration critics claim that the Prez B decision to lift the former Prez T's ban on China involvement in the U.S. grid, which is super confusing, gives the, the foe a backdoor opening to attacking the nation's electric supply. Washington's impotence and irresolution will invite future and increasingly aggressive cyber attacks, said Pry, who worked with Congress, past administrations, uh, the electric industry, and the Pentagon to prepare for an attack. The writing has been on the wall, and we cover all of this. I covered, we covered this. So somebody says that because we are uh, affiliates with EMP Shield that we cover this. We cover this regardless. We're going to cover every bit of it. We're going to cover every bit of, of Cascadia news. We're going to cover every bit of volcano news or earthquake news. So again, this is something that uh, I believe in, in my heart of hearts that will happen or if it, it when it does. And I, I believe either in a, I say when because it could be natural. It could be a Carrington event uh, type solar flare that could knock out our grid right now. If any human being knew how vulnerable all of the grids are, then why would they not be telling people to prepare for it? That's what I don't understand. We all know the fact that we are completely dependent on electricity. We're completely dependent on the communications through internet. We're completely dependent on this. And people always try to get on people's case for talking about it. Because you're a prepper, you're crazy. Because you're because you think about this kind of stuff, uh, you can't tell your friends or family because they all roll their eyes and think that you're an idiot. I'm pretty tired of it. I don't know about you guys, but I don't understand why being responsible and preparing for something. And if it means, if it means, you know, uh, having the proper equipment to do it, then what is the problem with that? Especially if, if you end up helping save lives and it, 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 um, and it is a benefit to you as well. I don't see a problem with it. And that's why I, I have no, I've never had a problem. Uh, with the whole EMP shield thing and we share news of course I've been sharing it for three years I've only we've only been with EMP shield for a year and a half EMP shield is contracted by the US government contracted by the Demso uh, actually protecting the Texas grid so I have no problem with it because I believe it will save lives and you guys know it a lot of you that have it a lot of that you've ha- actually done your research no look at what is happening right now it doesn't take me to tell you, uh, you know, to follow your gut. Look at what is happening. Look at the things that have happened over the last six months. Does any of really any of this make sense? Not really. It's one thing happening and them saying another. And if they say another in every form on every headline, then people believe this. But you know better. Yeah. So either way, 
Uh, that's that's why we have done it. If you want to protect yourself, there's a lot going on. But again, this is something I have uh, talked about for three years now. Uh, EMP is something that experts have worried about. It is something that the government has worried about. It's something Department of Homeland Security has worried about. In fact, they have actually put out a EMP resilience report that went to the president a couple years back, and he immediately signed an executive order to harden our grid. Uh, that is because experts took a look at our grid. In fact, they took one look at our grid and said, this is horribly unprepared for an EMP or a solar flare or a, a CME. So what they did is now they are employing EMP Shield and a ton of other companies to basically try as fast as they can to do it. Uh, but it's going to take years to get it to where they want it to get. Uh, this company, not only are they contracted with different agencies, uh, they are also officially on the Demso team helping protect the Texas grid, which has its own grid. Uh, again, they are officially on that team. 100% American-made, veteran-owned, and they have multiple devices. It protects against E1, E2, and E3, all three phases of an EMP. And again, it's it's security that you can't really get uh, with many other products. It, it, you can actually have your vehicle drive after an EMP or your home and your device is safe after an EMP. In fact, multiple. Uh, they stopped at like 41 times. This thing just keeps going. Solar protection, again, you can uh, set that up. The car one takes about five minutes to put in. Again, go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP. Do it before you need it. That's what we always say. And you get $50 off when you use uh, this link, again, per device. And it combines with any sale they're usually doing. So make sure to make sure to use that link there. Feed the haters to the alligators. Your weight or the highway. See you later. BOD is the homie and Mr. Vader. If it wasn't for you, I would never made it. Whole city's covered by the clean made it. Now they listen to what we were saying. Doesn't matter if my manufacturer or created.